Right, we've got our adult show hunters coming into the arena now. I think this is a combined class with the small hunters as well as the large hunters. A show hunter should combine quality and substance. It should be workmanlike rather than elegant, but it should never ever be common. And like all good show horses, it should give a really good ride. You want to feel that you could have a really good day's hunting on it without having to put too much leg on to keep it going, or feeling as if your arms are going to be pulled out. It should be up to the bridle without leaning on your hands and covering ground at the gallop. A hunter should be able to gallop with a ground, with a low ground covering stride, but it must always come back to you very steadily and easily afterwards. And a hunter should always strike you as just that, a hunter, never any other type. Our hunter class has now been asked to trot on. Looks like we have three large horses in this class and only one small entry. But the trot in, in a hunter class needs to be active and bold and not too slow and too steady. Our riders in this class are all wearing darker coats, um, tweed jackets. And you'll notice all the horses in this class now have all now changed into plain brow bands. You will not see any bling brow bands um, on the horses and you will notice as well no white girths on these horses at all. And again in the canter with the show hunter we're wanting a horse that the canter should be very bold, very forward going without being too sticky and too slow. In the show hunter class here are ring stewards standing down the bottom there and she one at a time will get each one of the competitors to gallop up the long side of the arena and then um, the second third and fourth competitor will just do a canter circle around her and then she will then send them up one at a time all right first horse did his gallop up the long side the gray horse will go next And when we see the horses gallop up the long side, what we are wanting to see is to see that stride lengthening all the time coming out of the corner so that by the time that it does come up the straight, it is really lowering its entire frame and really stretching out instead of scrambling along, all right, and just take or taking off like a bullet out of a shotgun. Called our horses in in order of preference. It looks to me as if they've called um, the big bay out first, the grey horse second, the lighter bay in third, and then the dark bay with the four white socks into fourth. Now in a show hunter class, as we said to you earlier this morning, that a show hunter stems from the hunting field. Very little trot should actually be shown in a hunter class, and then a canter on both reins with a blistering gallop. Um, on the on the one rein as well. Not necessary to do a gallop on both reins at all. And in a show hunter, what we would like to see in a show hunter class is for the changes to be done through the trot. <clears throat> going to give its gallop down the long side. Second horse now being called out of line.
This is the combined adult show hunters, large and smalls combined. Yeah. Our ride judge, Mr. Lawrence, has now called forward the first horse who he, he has not ridden yet. Very little bit of trot that he's actually asked for. Nice, put it into canter. Coming across the diagonal and the change will be through the trot. And canter on the opposite rein and then he will move the horse on down the long side. very quietly back into his hand after that good extension and that seems to be the completion of our show hunter class and it's an automatic championship as I said to you earlier the bay horse being called in as our champion followed by the grey stallion as our reserve here we go and our champion and our reserve champion on their lap of honour lovely class to watch again